Hello everyone. Welcome to the third part of the 10 usability heuristics. Today we will be talking about the first seven I have covered in my previous videos. You can find it link in the below description. So let's start with the number eight that is aesthetic and minimalist design heuristics. Your design should be very simple and with minimal elements or UI elements that is displayed on your screen with the relevant information displayed instead of cluttering it with images and icons or content show only the relevant information so that your visual hierarchy is maintained in your screen let's see a very simple example for this heuristics that is aesthetic and minimalist design if a user lands on your website or a web page like this one and if he sees a lot of ui elements at one go for him to make a decision, it's a very difficult process. You are putting too much cognitive load on the user's mind because you are displaying the hero image that is the construction workers at one side, which is a focal point for the user. And on the left hand side, there's a background image with buildings or some construction work. And your text is somewhere lost. That is your header and description between these two images or the background images. And the most important thing that is a CTA, call to action button, the dimension is too small for the user to focus on. So it's not a good practice to follow these kind of examples with a lot of UI elements cluttered at one place, which makes difficult for the user to focus on the important or relevant information that is your heading, your description and call to action. So in this example, the UI is much better than the previous example. The visual hierarchy is much more balanced than the previous example. So on the left hand side, the header, the description and the call to action. It's much easier for the user to scan it and the user takes least amount of time to make his or her decision. So I hope these examples were very helpful for you guys to understand these heuristics that is aesthetic and minimalist design. So let's look at the ninth heuristics that is help users recognize, diagnose and record from errors. When a user sees an error message, he should be well informed that what error happened on that screen, what is the next action he needs to take on that error screen. The information or the error message should be displayed in such a simple way that it should not scare the user. but that should make the users relax that nothing to worry this is the issue and you should take this action so let's understand these heuristics more better with a very simple example in this example the users know what error has been occurred so what is the error error 404 so he recognized the error so what is that error page not found the details of that it seems there is some server issue at our end so users diagnose this error and to recover from that error there's a home page link provided below so the user can go to home page and he can search the other items that is looking for that page so to conclude this always provide your user the exact error in a very simple layman language and what is the next step that he or she does need to take so here we are at the last heuristics that is help and documentation. It means when you design a system, you should always provide some help and documentation with that application or a website. Because when a user uses your app or website, you as a designer will not be there with the user all the time. So how the user would know that if some problem has occurred, then how he would solve that problem. So by looking some help and documentation, he would get his queries answered. And believe me guys, it's a big, big relief for the users when they see help and documentation or any chat or support kind of stuff on the web page or an application where they can find the solution of their problem. So that's it folks. We have covered all the 10 usability heuristics, which is very important for a UX designer or usability expert to know all these heuristics and follow the proper method with proper guidelines. So I hope you guys have liked my video and if you liked, please subscribe to my channel. 
or if you have any comments please leave your comments and like the video thank you guys see you soon